Hi everyone. Now, uh, as you know, I get lots of requests, and uh, I basically got a, I've had two or three requests for this fly um, the last few few months, and uh, I just happened to get asked again, and I've got the materials sitting out, so the perfect timing. So I, it reminds me to tie the fly, and it's one to one way I rarely, I don't think I've, I've tied it maybe a couple of times, but it was a long time ago. And this one's called Lynn Spectacular. Now, this is originally tied by the Lynn family uh, many years ago. Uh, a lot of history behind the fly. So what I'm going to do is actually, uh, under the video, I'll have a link to a website that has great information on the actual fly and the family. So it's certainly worth uh, reading. And you'll enjoy it. It goes with the fly, as I say. Now, the, the fly is mainly tied. It's got the body is tied with uh, the hackle, the the stem of the hackle. So we've got a large hackle here. Now, to give you an idea of the type of the cape I'm using, this is just a it's just a cheap Indian neck. It's a cock neck and I'm going to stick to that. Now, the original body thread or thread was used was the Pearsles, Pearsles Silk, this one here. Now, you could use the Uni 8O if you don't want to use the Pearsles. Now, I'm actually going to tie it with the original silk, so it's a wee bit more fiddlier. Uh, you may watch the number of turns you have and so on. But anyway, we'll give it a go. The first thing that's important that you, when you're using a, a, a silk, you have to wax it to protect it. And basically, it, waxing the thread will protect it, make it strengthen it even, gives it a bit of strength just because it's not as uh, dry, takes the dryness out of it, gives it grip. So it, it's important that you do. And it will do that when a normal thread as well. So. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start about, say, a mil, mil and a half from the eye, come down two or three turns. Now, I'm going to tie this, I don't know how originally it was tied, but I'm going to tie it the way I want. I'm going to put the wings on at this point. Now, I've got a natural done hackle, uh, this is an egg that I was, I've had for quite a long time now. And I'm going to use a couple of the small, small hackles at the bottom for the wings. And uh, yeah, so basically, what I'm going to do, you can use dyed, not lay one on top of the other, make sure the tips have lined up, and then length of the wing. You're looking to balance the fly at least the shank length. So, what I would do then is these are lined up, hold the tips, and draw back the fibers, try and keep them together, and don't let them go like I did there. Uh, make sure that you can actually see the feather. Check the length. That's fine. Now because it's a silk, and I would probably I would do this as well. It's the easiest way to tie it. Uh, it's to basically catch them on the top here and come down three or four turns. The, the, the hackle tips will sit there for you. Just leave them. Maybe you can see it. There we are. Very easy. Make sure you've got enough in there to tie and trim away the hackles, but make, make sure you've still got enough to tie it in, so there's enough there to give it grip. So then we continue down the body, to the back of the hook, or to in line with the barb. Now, the same cape has some, there's obviously the, there's the, the long hackles the, up the centre of the cape, that you strip away the fibre, the side feathers, now I'm going to zoom out a wee bit here, you can see where they come from. So basically what you want to do is take one of the larger feathers, uh, take one of them off, that's going to be for your body. You want one of the side feathers, these feathers here, they're ideal for tails. So we take one of them out, that's for our tail. So we'll go with our tail first. You'll see how long these are, they're nice and long. Now take away the stuff I don't want to the base, just bring out, I like a good few fibres, I, I, to be honest with you, I like more than, uh, if you read the dressing in the, in the internet, it's, it tells you to put on uh, four fibres, so four to six then. So basically catch this in, tail length, you're looking at least the length of the hook, put that in your finger and thumb, catch it on the top, and that, that single turns on the, the bare hook, and then come underneath that turn and then pull towards the front of the hook 
and then a ton on top and that should spread the fibre now I'm sure I actually come in there I'm going to do that again because you should be able to see that so I'll just do the tail again so I'll go back to the feather just bring out enough fibres for the other side so it's a good half dozen make sure they're lined up check your length just hold it come over a turn on top so encourage that you come underneath the tail fibres and then just basically pull towards the eye you'll see how that lifts and se separates the fibres and a turn on top I mean, especially with the silk, because the silk's really thick in comparison to uh, modern threads and it will certainly lift it and spread it much easier, as you can see. Now obviously we've got a large feather. Now what we do is just tear away the fibres, just to reveal the stem of the feather, because that's your body. There's lots of flies like this, tied like this now, and you can actually find them. Now I want to come as close as I can to the tip, but not too close that it's going to uh, basically break if I try to wind it. So, take away the tip. Catch this in. Now you could go that half turn back, just to catch it in, full length of the body. And then you want to touch and turns of the thread or the silk all the way up, make sure it's waxed, you need the grip. All the way, which is encouraging it to sit where you want. To you're looking, just imagine where you want to wind your hackle. What about three tons of hackle there, and I will say two thirds of the way at least. So we do a straight turn, nice straight turns with the quilt, and we just work our way up, forming the body. Now because the the, the stem of the feather gets is naturally it tapers, it gets thin at the tip and then thickens as you wind up. You're going to get a nice body. So, this point, I think maybe another half turn or so, another turn, just depends. Just check and make sure I'm thinking of the hackle. That's fine. Catch this in. Nice and tight, make sure you tie this in. Got to make sure that's tied in. Trim away. Just watch you don't trim away your, your wing. It's fine. Now these are going to be tied in slightly spent. Nothing wrong with actually having them slightly up. Just seeing how it looks. A good spinner part in this as well. So uh, anyway, now the hackle. Using one of the hackles, the small hackles at the base of here. They're not the best in the world, but I'm going to stick to that. There's someone here, so just check the length. I'm going to use the whole hackle up, so I'm going to trim away, take away the fluff, trim enough stem in that I can tie it on. Important that you do wax the thread. And then I'm actually going to tidy up this area. Make sure the thread turns are there. fine the hackle pliers and then just use up the hackle I'm going to tie one turn in front of the other I've got three turns there I've got probably three turns in front of the wing so just draw back the fibres as you wind forward you get this point here, just round the thread, one, two, then two down, then I'm going to go come two back up. I'm going to come in, trim away the tip of the hackle. Maybe any fibres I may have caught, you will catch the odd ones, don't worry about it. Now I'm just going to stroke these back. Just making sure the fibres are out of the way. Let's do another turn. 
Make sure you wax your thread at this point, especially if you silk. And then go one, two, three turns. Tighten up. And what I'm going to do here, before I don't do anything, is just a wee touch of varnish. On the thread, on the head of the fly. He's been patient with it. I want to tie it as it was originally tied. Just give it a second, just so it soaks in. You can start to bring the fibres back to where they should be. And there we are. Nice wee fly. There's a wee bit of fibre there just at the end, but I'd rather leave that. You can see, uh, where is it? It's a tiny wee bit. It's there. But just leave it, that's fine. Looks good, the proportions look nice. Uh, as I say, it's a nice part to tie. I so very rarely tie them. It's, uh, the body worked out really well. You can see the body you get, it's lovely. Uh, as I say, it'd be easier using modern salts. So there we go, that's the lens particular. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And have a wee read of the information. I'll put the link, as I say, below the video. You'll see it in the more info part. And uh, have gone to the site. It's a great wee site I came across. Uh, so anyway, again, hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.